Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to do some of the basic configurations in Jenkins using a section called configure system in manage Jenkins. So when I click on manage Jenkins, there is a section called configure system. And here we can do some of the basic configurations about Jenkins. So we will start from the top. The first option here is home directory and you will see the location of your Jenkins home directory in the file system. So when I copy this path and when I open the terminal and I will CT to this path, you will be able to see all the you know configurations file or uh, Jenkins related files are present inside this directory so you will see config.xml file you will see jobs directories nodes uh, directories plugins directories where all the plugins will be installed or the users directory and the workspace uh, directory so all the configurations related to jenkins you can do here and when i click on this question mark here beside this option you will be able to see uh, more information about this option. So by default, Jenkins stores all of its data in this directory on the file system. There are few ways to change the Jenkins home directory. So this is the procedure which is given here to change the home directory of this Jenkins. So if you have the good reason to change it, you can follow these instructions to change the home directory. Now second option here is system message. So this is the message you can show on the home page of Jenkins. So for example, I can uh, just write some message here. This is my Jenkins home page, let's say, okay. And I will just save this uh, option. And when I save this option, you will be able to see this message is displayed on the top of your home page above all the Jenkins job. So I will uh, once again go to the configure system and uh, this system message also supports the HTML tags. Now you can see a little uh, section here which says plain text. This is the support uh, format which this box will support. Now we can change it to support the HTML. So for that we need to go to the manage Jenkins option once again and then go to the configure global security and inside the configure global security you will be able to find a section called markup formatter and by default it's a plain text here selected we can choose the safe html here and then uh, we can just save this option and once you save this uh, option we can just refresh uh, this uh, configure page and now you will see here safe HTML is displayed here. So this is the default format which uh, this message will support. So for example, now I can uh, use the HTML tags here. For example, I want to just uh, show this message in H1 tag. So I can just use this uh, H1 tag here, H1. And then I can preview this message from here. So I can just click here. And this message will be displayed like this on my home page. Let me save it and let's verify this. So you can see it's uh, shown in the H1 tags now, this uh, system message. So this is how you can uh, just uh, display the system message here. Now the next option here is the number of executors. And uh, for example, uh, this number is two by default, that means that two jobs can run parallelly on this uh, Jenkins, right? If I can uh, change it to five, then uh, it will allow the five jobs to run parallelly. So you can uh, change this number from here, number of executors. The next option is labels. This is a little bit detailed concept uh, when we use the master slave concept and nodes we will see how to use labels. So I'm going to leave uh, this uh, for now. We will see how labels work in the future lectures. 
now the, the next section here is the usage and by default the usage here is use this node as much as possible because we only have one Jenkins node which is uh, this node that's why uh, the default option is use this node as much as possible but when we will learn how to create nodes and how to provide labels to uh, our nodes then uh, later we will be able to choose this option which says only build jobs with labels expression matching this node so this we will learn later when we uh, will uh, see how to create nodes and how to assign labels to our nodes so for now i will leave it as default for more information you can just click on this question mark and uh, you will see some more uh, description about uh, this uh, usage section so controls how jenkins schedules build on this node okay so you can uh, read more about uh, this uh, option here now the next option is the quiet period now the quiet period it's in second i'm going to just uh, click on the question mark once again and uh, here it says when this option is checked newly triggered bills of this project will be added to the queue but the jenkins will wait for the specified period of time before actually starting the bill so jenkins will wait for example for five seconds before starting this build so sometimes for example you use the source code management system and uh, your uh, committing will take some uh, time or you, when you push your code it takes some, some time to uh, you know get into your uh, github repository or for any other reason for example your uh, jobs takes some time to start you can specify this quiet period here so that your jobs or your build will start after this specified period so by default it's five but you can change it in future when you feel that your Jenkins will need more time to start. So just uh, provide the quiet period here. This will be in seconds. So after five seconds, your uh, build will start after the triggering of this job. Now the next option here is SCM checkout retry count. So this is uh, the option where, for example, you are using your SCM source code management system. Let me go to uh, the home page and let me uh, show you one example. So I will go into one uh, Jenkins job here and I will go to the configuration section here and then I will scroll down for uh, the build triggers and you will uh, see poll SCM option here. So when I select this poll SCM or uh, GitHub hook trigger for uh, Git's SCM uh, polling then this is the option for number of tries so this Jenkins will uh, try to connect to your uh, github for example this much number of times right now it's zero but for example you set it to five then Jenkins will uh, try five times to connect to your github before giving or showing some error now the next option is restrict project naming so let's uh, see this option also so by default it's default now you can choose uh, the pattern uh, option here or you can choose a role based uh, strategy option here also so let's see uh, what this pattern option do so i'm going to click on this question mark and uh, you can see some description here which says define a pattern or a regular expression to check whether the job name is valid or not so for example i define some pattern here for the naming of uh, my jenkins job so let's say i define java dot asterisk that means my jenkins job which i will be able to create will start from java and not any other keyword so let me save this option and once this is saved let me try to create a new jenkins job and let's say I just, uh, uh, you know, give some name here and instantly you will see this message which says dev does not match the job name convention pattern, which is Java dot asterisk, which means that your Jenkins job name should start with this Java keyword. So let's say I will just start 
the name with java keyword and now i can see uh, that there is no warning here okay any other pattern it's going to show this warning here okay so this pattern option you can use to give some kind of pattern for the naming for now i will uh, just choose it as default so i'm going to just revert it back to the default option but uh, if you want you can uh, just change it to anything you want in the future okay now next section here is the global properties and in the global properties you will see uh, two options here one is environment variables so here you can give all the environment variables which you want to give to your jenkins job globally for example so let's say uh, i want to give uh, let's say java home environment variable i can give it from here so i can give the value of java, this java home environment variable and the name uh, from here okay or any other uh, environment variable which you want to use in your jenkins job execution you can give it from here now the next option here is the tool location so this is the tool location so for example you want to use some uh, tool let's say git so the binary or path for this git you can give it from here now the next section here is the pipeline speed durability settings and this we will see in the future videos i'm going to skip this section for now and then you have the usage statistics option which will help make jenkins better by sending the anonymous usage statistics and crash reports to the jenkins project so if you want this option you can check it or uncheck it according to your needs and then next section is the time stamper system clock time format and elapsed time format this is the format uh, which uh, jenkins will support but you can uh, see in the details you can uh, support any other format which is uh, given here so here you can uh, just uh, define the time format which you want to show now in the next section you will be able to see uh, the jenkins location before that there is administrative uh, monitor configuration and you will be able to see uh, this option which says enable administrative monitoring and here you can see administrative monitoring are the warnings shown to jenkins administrator about the state of jenkins interface so you can check these option whatever warning you want to see so for example you want to see the dependency warning or you want to see the invalid plugin warning or if you want to see the disk usage warning all the warnings you can set up from here by default every warning is selected but let's say if you want to skip some warning you can just uncheck this option and then this warning will not be shown to you let's go to the next option here which is the jenkins location by default we are using the local host but you can uh, give any host name uh, instead of uh, this local host now next option is the admin email address you can uh, provide your admin email address here and then uh, you have the github uh, server option so if you want to uh, add some uh, keys for your github server you can uh, provide those keys or, or you can give uh, the name of your github server here and then provide the github server's credentials from here we will see uh, this later how we can do it and then you have the github enterprise servers so if you are using some private servers to host your repositories like github private repository then you can add uh, the information about that here now the next section is the pipeline model definition this we will see when we will uh, see the pipelines how pipelines works then you have the build timeout plugin option so whatever plugin you have uh, just installed or whatever plugins there is in your uh, jenkins uh, there are some options you can set for those plugins uh, here for example so git plugin or uh, subversion plugin shell plugin extend email notification plugin and uh, any other you know uh, information you can give 
it here so you have the email notification SMTP server configuration you can do it from here so these are some of the basic configuration you can do for your Jenkins as an administrator so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now